Hello! In this video clip, I will show you an opportunity how you can check all system files of your Windows operating system for manipulation. Running checks is advisable. If you want to ensure independently from your antivirus scanner whether any vulnerable or sensitive files like DLL, sys or exe files have been subject to manipulation. This can be caused by malware and attempts to spy on you. It is those vulnerable file types you want to monitor. I am now gonna show you how you can set up automatic monitoring of your vulnerable files for any changes. It is very easy to set up and I will show you how to do this. I will use Digitaltronics MD5 File Hasher. See the download link below. First, we open the program and click on Tasks. This is where we can set up a new task to schedule automatic checks. So let's call it Monitoring 1 and then click Next. Now, this is where we can choose what parts of your system should be included in the checkup. The Windows and System folder are included by default. All the file types we see here will be checked. For us, this standard filter setting does not need any further changes as the standard setting already preselects all vulnerable file types. We use the same filter settings for the system folder. You have unlimited options to fine tune the selection based on your specific requirements. You can include any file type. The most important file types are included by default. We want to keep the box checked to make sure that hidden files will be included in the checkup too. Subfolders are not critical, therefore we don't include them. Great, now let's click Next. Now we determine the timing of the checks. We have a range of options. Well, let's just pick the interval option and let's set the interval time to a few hours. This will ensure that all files will be verified throughout the day automatically. OK. Now here we can determine how to react if new files are added. Existing files have gone through a change or even deleted. We keep all settings active to make sure that we will be notified of any breach immediately. In addition, a report will be produced if any changes are identified. OK, now we see that 4455 files are processed. That means that hash values of every single file are generated and stored to a database. This will be used as a reference list for later checks. Process completed. Now everything is in place for regular essential checkups. When we look at the list, we see that our task has been added. There you see that checks will be performed every three hours automatically course provided the PC is switched on. You can also start the check manually up here. Now let's test how it all works. Let's go to the Windows folder. And remember we decided to include all EXE files. OK. Now let's just create a new EXE file. Copy. And then rename it. OK. Now let's repeat the check again. To make access even easier, you can link the task in the task menu of the system bar. Simply click on Execute Task Monitoring 1. Process completed. New file found. Let's look at it more closely. New app.exe has been discovered in the Windows folder. You would see a similar alert if one or more files had been changed. Now, some might still not be sure why you would need to know about any such changes. The answer is easy. The threat from Trojans and viruses is getting ever more complex. Hackers are concealing their tracks with new techniques, which makes it very difficult for antivirus programs on the market to find previously unknown 
and complex threats which are buried deep inside the operating system. This is why antivirus software can provide forced security. We shouldn't naively just rely on the existence of antivirus software. To be on the safe side, you should monitor any unexpected changes to your system files. Say, you haven't installed any new software or made any changes to the settings of your system, but nevertheless MD5 FileHasher identifies a new file named keylogger.exe. You know that malware has infected your system. Of course, the MD5 file hasher cannot replace the use of antivirus software, but it complements the checks of the virus scanner. The advantage is that it operates completely independently. Unlike a virus scanner, which relies on signatures of previously identified threats, the file hasher alerts you not only to changes and threats from previously known virus signatures, but it checks and discovers any changes. Your comments to the topic are welcome and if you want to check it out for yourself, you can find the link to the download site of the MD5 file hasher just down below.